Hi, it's Emma from Beacon School Support and in today's 90 second video, I'd like to explode three commonly held myths about mean girl phenomenon, also known as relational aggression. The term relational aggression was developed in the early 90s by Dr. Nikki Crick. She defines it as emotional violence and bullying behaviours focused on damaging an individual's social connections within their peer group. Examples are socially ostracising, spreading rumours, giving dirty looks, name calling and cyberbullying. And it's more common than you think. Many of these so-called mean girl behaviours can be subtle and easily disguised, meaning it can be difficult for adults to pick up on what's going on. Relational aggression is exclusively the domain of girls. In fact, boys and girls can both be perpetrators and victims. Psychological bullying is not as painful as physical bullying. Students report that being the victim of relational aggression actually causes as much pain and suffering as being physically attacked. Popular students don't engage in bullying others. Relational aggression is driven by the desire to weaken another's social status in order to boost your own standing. So sometimes the most popular students will systematically undermine others in an attempt to remain top dog. If relational aggression is something you're trying to tackle in your school, why not download our brand new resource pack?